Hey Bulls, I'm Jeremiah Skillman. And I'm Kahari Crawford. And welcome to the first video of the school year! Okay, let's go. Can't believe we've been schooled for almost a week already. Here's Kahari with the new rules and policies for this school year. Hey Bulls, as you know, this is a new school year. And with the new school year, that comes new rules and policies. Here's Mr. James with more information. We only have one major change and that's the IDs. And the reason for that is safety so that we can know when students are in class, out of class, on time, if they even made it to campus. So the number one reason is for safety. Be sure to take care of these green IDs. Now, back to the studio. Now a new school year means a new students, new challenges, and new news. Here's Mr. Triana with a very important message. Welcome back, Bulls. Mr. Triana here. I'm so excited about this school year. There's so many great things that uh, we are celebrating uh, at the beginning of the year, and we're so excited about the promise that this year has for middle school and high school. First of all, I'd like to start off by sharing out that SLAM Middle School has achieved five-star status. So congratulations, making history. Uh, five stars is a big deal. There's not too many middle schools in Nevada that can claim that. So make sure you guys brag about that with your family, friends, parents, everybody get the word out that you guys are five-star. Slam High School, you guys were two points shy of five-star status. So keep on trucking. I know that we're gonna hit that five stars um, probably this year. So uh, we'll make history this year as a high school. Um, a lot of senior athletes that are gonna make a lot of noise this school year for our high school sports. We're super excited about fall season, football, soccer kicking around, girls volleyball, cross country. Uh, we're super excited about that. Uh, also Bulls TV, we're so excited about our advanced studies class and the Bulls TV segments that they're gonna be preparing every week. Uh, for those of you that are new to SLAM, Bulls TV is going to be highlighting important days, important events, um, important um, um, games, playoff games, state championships, uh, anything that we want to highlight and stress on. They do such a great job of making it fun, making it funny, and making it super informative. So stay tuned to Bulls TV. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy, Carter, and today we're going to be going to the Smithsonian. Let's get straight to it. During my summer break, I had the amazing opportunity to go and visit one of America's most notorious museums, the Smithsonian. While at the Smithsonian, I visited a couple of exhibits, such as Entertainment Nation, Destination Moon, and Forensic Science on Trial. Although my favorite section of the entire museum was the steam locomotive section, where I got to see the John Bull. It ran for 35 years, pulling trains of passengers and cargo between the two largest cities of its time, Philadelphia and New York. Thank you for sharing that with us, Conry. Now we would like you guys to send us your clips from your summer here. Now it's time for a commercial break. Hey Bulls, this is Javier reporting for Bulls TV and welcome to Slam's weekly lunch menu. Starting next week, we'll have cheeseburgers with oven-baked fries served with baby carrots. On Tuesday, we'll have chicken alfredo pasta with steamed broccoli served with baby carrots as well. On Wednesday, lunch will be chicken tamales with diced carrots. It will also be served with celery sticks and apples. On Thursday, it will be turkey nachos with refried beans and papillas roasted fava beans. On Friday, students will have the day off due to Staff Development Day. Alright Bulls, this has been Slam's weekly lunch menu and this is Javier Solano signing off for Bulls TV. With Vegas hitting 100 degrees, it's a perfect time to enjoy a cold otter pop. Come support cheer and video production Monday through Thursday in the main lobby after school. Here's Ms. Shine with some information on where the money will be going to. The money is used for the cheer team. We are hoping to buy boxes for the cheerleaders to use at the football games so they can actually see the football players play in the game. So come support video production and cheer for the small price of $2 for a large otter pop, $1 for a small one, and don't forget to stay hydrated, bulls. 
Hey Bulls, welcome to the first ever segment for weather on Bulls TV. I'm your weatherman Thomas Delaney and let's see what this week's weather is going to look like. Tomorrow we will have 99 degrees as the highest temperature during the day with winds up to 15 and 25 miles per hour. Then a nice cool night of 70 degrees to send us to bed. Bulls, get ready for the weekend. Sunny conditions on Saturday and Sunday with a near of 94 degrees and refreshing temperatures of 72 and 75 at night. Getting back into the school week a little hot with a daytime high of 100 degrees and keeping the wind speeds of 5 miles per hour. At night, the temperature will be rising to 76 degrees. Continuing the hot streak on Tuesday with the high of being 103 degrees and at night the temperature will still be rising up to 77 degrees. And on Wednesday and Thursday we will be experiencing a daytime high of a hot 105 and 104 and to finish off these two days with a night temperature of 79 degrees. Well Bulls, thank you for joining me for the first ever formal weather segment for Bulls TV. I can't wait for what this year will bring and I'm Thomas Delaney. I'll see you next week. The lunch here at Slam is free. Let's all take advantage of that. Now we're in our fall sports. So here's Gabe with the schedule and more for our upcoming games. What's poppin' Bulls? My name is Gabriel Legato. And as you know, school just started. And that means it's sports season. Here are all the available schedules. Let's start off with football. The football schedule is looking pretty tough. And they even get the opportunity to travel out of town multiple times. However, they're looking to grind throughout the season and make their third straight state appearance. Let's interview team captain Dylan Tondro to see how he feels about their schedule. Hey Bulls, now I'm here with Dylan Tondro. With your guys' football schedule coming out and you guys already playing one game, how do you feel about the rest of your season? We got a couple of hard more games to go through, but come back, hopefully they have some OT title and win that championship. The girls' volleyball schedule is looking very challenging. However, they get the opportunity to go against many great teams. Let's see how they compete this year. Now let's transition back onto the field. Our boys on the team are turning state finalists and are looking to make another run to the finals. Here's a look at their first four home games of the season. Now let's interview assistant coach Gio for more. Hey Bulls, I'm here with Coach Gio. With you guys' soccer schedule coming out, how do you guys feel about your upcoming season? Thank you. Similar to the girls volleyball, the girls soccer team schedule is long and challenging. However, since making their playoff appearance last year, they are looking like strong competitors. Thank you Bulls, that's all the time I have for today. Gabriel Legato from Bulls TV signing out. Attention all freshmen, here's Jay with a very important video for the advice for you for this upcoming year. Hey Bulls, it's Jay and welcome back to another segment. We're back to Bulls TV and we're excited to be back. Today for you guys, we're going to be talking to the new freshmen and some tips and advice for how you guys can succeed. Now I'm going to hear advice you guys this time. Let's get straight into it. All right, Bulls, my first piece of advice for you guys is don't be late. Don't be tardy. You know, obviously life happens and some things come up and you're going to be late. That just happens. But if you can avoid it, do your best to avoid it. Not only does it look bad on you and kind of make you look like a slacker to your teachers, but it also limits you because it lowers your citizenship grade. When that happens, you get limited on the events and field trips that you guys are able to go to. So just do your best to not be tardy. All right, Bulls, now I'm here with Mr. Meyer. Now, Mr. Meyer, do you have any tips or advice for the new freshman this year on how to succeed? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, be a kind person. You know, just showing up to class on time, getting ready and prepare yourself. Uh, your teachers really want you to succeed, just know that. So try not to give them a hard time because they're there for you. Thank you. Hey Alexis, you got any advice for the freshmen? Just do your best. Do your best. Yeah. That's it? Just like that. All right, boys, now I'm here with Mr. Chavez. Now, Mr. Chavez, do you have any tips or advice for the freshmen this year to succeed? Yeah, I do. It's easy for freshmen on a lot of occasions to fall behind. So just make sure that as soon as work starts coming out, that they start on their assignments, use some of the tools that are given to you, including Google Calendar. A lot of times it can seem overwhelming, especially you just got to high school. Seven classes, one assignment can really seem to take your whole day away from you. But if you manage your time and organize your calendar fine, you should be okay. Thank you. All right, well, this looks like we're wrapping up for today. I guess you some tips and advice for you new freshmen to succeed. Other than that, this is Jaden Cogito signing up for Bulls TV. So stay safe and go Bulls. Thank you, Jay, for those pieces of advice. That's all, folks. But remember, be smart, play fair, and stay safe. See you guys next time.
Perfect.